What's going on guys? So today will hopefully be the day that the minivan makes over 600 horsepower. As you guys know, we just got the twin disc clutch put in there and right now we're fixing to head over to PFI and put it back on the dyno and see what she puts down. So this morning we just got our boost controller uh, remounted so it's not as ghetto. We still just need to put some like zip ties on these fittings right here so those lines don't come off even though they're pretty tight. And we need to run to the hardware store real quick because one of our plugs on the wastegate fell out and I don't know how that fell out, but I guess it was loose. So we need to uh, get a plug for that so we don't have the uh, over boosting issues like we did last time. And then I think we should be set to put it on the dyno. And uh, another thing we did get the cutout for it as well. So that's right here, but we'll be putting this on in another video. Right now I still just wanna get it retuned with the new clutch and then we can focus on getting this put on there another day. So yeah, we're gonna head over right now and go to the hardware store get that plug and then head over to PFI. Sounded like a lot too. Yeah, it, was, it was like going hard. <laughs> I knew that one was gonna be like pretty good. You could hear it in that Didn't one. Didn't even try. Didn't it's, even try. It was just working. It's amazing what a good clutch will do, huh? Dude, six. No changes. No changes. No changes. Just a, a clutch that'll hold all the power. <laughs> it's awesome. Dude. Is this thing about to make more power than the hatch? It's about to make more power than the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Get the exhaust coming under it. Like it's nice and warm. Yeah, dude. Like I'd wear shorts right now with it running even. You know what, I'll put the cutout on and I'll leave it just right, just right, right here right so I can stand here every yeah, time. Every time I dyno, appreciate it, bro. Keep your feet warm. I appreciate it. Dude, it's freezing out right now. Yeah. Last time I looked at it, it was like 14 degrees. 14 degrees? Yeah. Yeah, it's nippy. Start to run away. A little bit, but we're, little not, bit. we're not done. We still got some duty though. Dude. We still got duty. We're okay. 10 away from 700. Oh, we'll oh it's get gonna there. make 700. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> Don't even worry about that. What was the most the hatch made? 711. We gotta beat that. <laughs> no. It's happening, bro. It's, it's gonna go down like within the next two bolts. I said 720. It's going down in the next two bolts. I'm gonna guess the final number is 714. That's more than the hatch, bro. I know. That means you gotta do something with that thing again. Yeah, don't worry, the hatch is gonna get, it's gonna come back even faster. All right. I can't have my minivan making more power than my Civic. <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> or it's just right. <laughs> That's some weird life problems right there. My minivan makes more power than my race car. <laughs> Oh. That's some weird life problems. <laughs> it's true, man. It happens. First world problems. <laughs> yeah. Everyone goes Loose through that. Boys world problems. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> everybody deals with it. Everyone goes through that at everyone some point. Everyone deals with it. Okay, maybe not everyone, but. <laughs> So it's not gonna make seven? No. Damn. Because it's already running away. You just away. got everyone so hyped up. I'm all hyped up. I know. We're <laughs> like, oh, yeah, two more pulls, it's gonna beat it. How 
could I do it? We need more fuel pressure. We need a relay on that pump. Yeah, and or I still just have the stock FPR. Yeah. Either we need a... What a bummer. That's what why the half would make more. On here? What's up? The feed line, what is it? Is it still it's a just factory, factory. Like banjo Yeah, shit? just factory stuff. That's what we need to do. We need to get a regulator on it and get rid of the banjo. Is the tune good right there, though? Um, or is it starting to run out still? It's still running out. Back it's it better. Down. Back it down a couple pounds, maybe. Not yet. <laughs> Gotta figure out how to put more fuel in it. We're so close. Yeah, it's right so there. So close. We can figure this out. Post clamp that return line. <laughs> <laughs> like for real. Like for real. <laughs> we gotta have something. Yo, what's the Dude, it's still a lot though. I know. It's it's not 690? Enough, but it's not enough. It's so Van close makes 700 it's would be a way better post, right? Like, I mean, we're only. I mean, it probably makes like well over 730 well, cranks. Oh, no. oh, yeah. <laughs> like whatever is at the crank. Oh, 20%. Yeah. Do the math. No, yeah, it's close to like 800. Yeah. Crank horsepower. <laughs> yeah. Man, it spools fast though. Dude, yeah. It's, it's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> the clutch was awesome. Yeah, dude, it was All like little changes the very good. first time we tuned it and we took it out, like it was so slow compared to what it is now. Yeah. It's a whole nother yeah. car. Yeah. It felt like maybe a 250, 300 horsepower car. Now, and it's, now it's. Now it actually feels fast. And now it's even going to be way better. Like, holy crap. <laughs> All right, guys, so that last pull the minivan did. 687 and unfortunately it started to run out of fuel so uh, Brent had it maxed out that's all she can go with the fuel system we have right now so we're gonna have to either relay the pump later on get like a new fuel pressure regulator because right now it just has the stock one and that should uh, let us bump it over 700 but unfortunately for right now I know you guys don't want to hear this but we're gonna have to turn it down a little bit My that's bad. something we never say but <laughs> we're gonna have to put her at like around 650 ish we somewhere in there parts. yeah we, we need more, more fuel yeah. so to make the tune safe we got to turn it down just a couple horsepower but we did want to crack 700 we'll do it another day i mean it's still making almost 100 it did just make over 100 more horsepower than it did before the new clutch is holding great so uh i mean dude it's in a minivan it's plenty of power and it as of right now it is making more power than the hatch because the hatch is only at 625 horsepower and the minivan is gonna be making more than my hatch right now. So that's gonna be crazy. But yeah, it didn't make more than the hatch did overall though. Cause the hatch did make 711 and this has yet to break the 700 mark. So he's gonna be playing with the fuel a little bit, gonna turn it back down and go for a couple more pulls. Six fifty-five. How much? Damn, you know what you're doing. Like right on the money. What'd it make? Six fifty-five. <laughs> oh, nice. Perfect. Leave it. She's good right there. She's good. Yeah, I think it's crazy because like even though the exhaust is pointing straight down, when you're getting in it, all the keys on the wall over there start flying around, going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Back it down and touch to be safe. Yes, Dad. <laughs> explain it to him, bro. <laughs> Taking away all the fun. Nah. I think it's still gonna be pretty fun. Oh. It's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> See the tires on this thing? Yeah. <laughs> So she'll the be good, good right there? Yeah, we're gonna leave it right there for right now and then change that regulator and relay the pump and then uh, give everybody what they really want. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think they'll still be happy Come with back that. For round 12. <laughs> <laughs> round 12. I know, I was hoping this would be the last time. You yeah. gotta keep throwing around the dyno. Yeah. There's never a last time for you, Kyle. That's what the dyno's for, it's just a tool, so it works. Keep using it. Besides, it gives everybody something to watch. Yeah. <laughs> so we're unstrapping the minivan right now. Sorry if it's a little dark. We had to shut the door because it's really cold outside. But we're going to have to leave it at 650 horsepower for right now until we can upgrade the fuel. Because uh, that's all it can go on the stock fuel lines with uh, no relay on the fuel pump for extra voltage and a stock fuel pressure regulator. 
So we're calling it good for right there. The tune is safe to run it how it is. And uh, yeah, I'm still stoked on that. 650 horsepower, that's a lot for a minivan, guys. So we're definitely gonna bring her back once again, once we figure that stuff out too. But every time we come here, we just keep making progress. So that's what it's about. That was third gear. <laughs> that was that was sick. That was gnarly. Dude, look at these tracks. Holy crap. That's awesome. Oh yeah. I want one. Well I just watched that Hoonigan, <laughs> Hoonigan one with Busy's and like he tried to do a second gear burnout and it like but it like bogged. Yeah. yeah. Your third was gear was bad. like <laughs> Dude. That have a really good slow motion, honestly. That's great. It's a nice sunset behind you. Yeah. <laughs> you know you like tuning the mini, man. Uh, I love tuning. <laughs> I was hoping 700 before the new year, but 2018. She's going to be 700 plus. It's, it's coming. <laughs> That's all Jamie's Baby concerned step. about right now. Oh, no, dude. It's wicked. It's a little, it's a little scary. <laughs> It's funny, like when you're on it, it's like the whole front end is yeah, way up in the air. Hard. Yeah, it just rocks. Just it. Watching those front tires move like five inches, I'm like, man, let's do something there. <laughs> those bushings are just going. <laughs> yeah, they're going. Ah, we're about to pop out. But they didn't. Not yet. The Boosted Boy style would be just get a bunch of washers. <laughs> yeah, just stack a whole bunch in there. Yeah. He's going to Ace now. <laughs> He's headed to Ace. Uh, it's way out. Well, you already know what to expect. Over the yeah. Time. Man, those wheels don't move at all. <laughs> Yo, Jamie, I fixed those. Yeah. I'll sell my own bushing kit. It's just a right. bag of washers. Bag of washers. <laughs> in the Ace hardware bag, even. <laughs> yeah. With like the original price on it, but I just doubled the price. <laughs> Scratches it off with the marker. These are zinc coated. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get out of here. Yep. We actually made it, made it for once with some daylight. I know, that's just weird. We woke up before noon. Yeah, it was still light out when he was here. That was fun. It's a rare occasion. It made for the burnout just Yeah, it made awesome. the burnout way better. Oh man, that was sweet. Like you could get to the end of the road and go Dude, all the way up could... the road into fourth and just keep going <laughs> just into keep going. fifth. <laughs> That's about what it looks like. We should. It's just a burnout. Machine. Get some people in there too, with the windows down, and have soccer balls like flying out. <laughs> <laughs> confetti cannons. <laughs> I think we should enter it in the burnout contest next year. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we need more boost. Just load another person. He's got Snapchat. Load yeah. don't, don't need boost control. We just add people. More load, more boost. We just made it back in the minivan and this thing's a beast for sure so it's at 650 horsepower right now it did make 690 but we had to turn it back down a little bit to keep the tune safe because if you stayed in it it would eventually start to run out of fuel which is bad that's how you melt pistons and stuff so I had to turn the tune back down just a little bit and uh, I mean it's running great I mean we were ripping it on the way home this thing is so fun it is so much faster now than it was I mean, it was still really fast when it was at five. Whenever we got the solenoid put on there, it made a huge difference. It was pretty slow before the solenoid, but now it's actually like, like it's fast now. So we need to do the fuel pressure regulator. We need to put a relay on the fuel pump. So what that does is you'll just run a thicker wire off the positive going to a relay. So the fuel pump will have more voltage going to it than just the factory wires would allow it to. And then what else do we need? I think that's mainly it, just the, regulator and the pump and then we should be able to turn it up from there and then uh, yeah obviously we need some new tires too that last burnout destroyed these things they're pretty bald now made some homemade slicks <laughs> but uh yeah I need some tires for sure because this thing is just spinning like crazy it's not really going anywhere even though the power comes on hard but uh once this has a real tire on there like a Mickey Thompson like the hatch or even just any sort of street tire it's going to be 
way faster. I'm a little worried to put like a mean tire on there or like a tire as big as the hatch because this is a little bit more weight than the hatches and it is still a stock transmission. And I'm worried if it hooks too good on the street or at the track whenever we take it, it's just gonna strip those gears because it's all stock in the transmission. So I don't know, we'll see. The hatch has been holding up even though this one does have a few hundred extra pounds. I also do wanna weigh the minivan as well. I wanna find that out. But yeah, we're getting closer every day. Like this thing is coming together. So I think here pretty soon we're gonna do the cutout as well. Now finally be quiet because I did plan on doing that before we took it to the dyno, but just didn't get around to it. So yeah, I wanna get the cutout put on pretty soon. And I know a lot of the videos recently have been about the minivan for like almost the last month. It's been mainly about the van. So don't worry, we do have more coming soon. We have stuff to do on the hatch, we have stuff to do on the wagon. And I've seen the comments about the shopping cart. I know a lot of you guys wanna see some work on that as well. And I still got to order some things for the MR2 cause I wanna get going on that. But uh, yeah, we've just been putting a lot of time in the minivan lately. And uh, something else I figured I would add to the end of this video is that um, Rob Freddy actually contacted us and uh, sort of invited us to go to the YouTuber call out, you know, with all the cars and everything going on. So there's a chance we might be bringing the minivan to Florida at the end of this month and, you know, meeting all those guys and just having a good time. So let me know what you guys think about that. I know a lot of people will probably expect me to bring the hatch or, well, yeah, obviously just the hatch and because the MR2 wouldn't really compete. But, uh, I think the hatch would do good and it could compete well, but I feel like the minivan is kind of what we're doing right now and it would just be a fun car to bring out there. And it is actually really put together right now. The hatch is doing all right, but second gear still kind of sketch after I rebuilt that transmission. And I definitely could, you know, knock it out and make the transmission solid within the next month. But I don't know, I feel like it would be good to bring the minivan to this. So let me know what you guys think. Nothing's official yet, but I think it would be really cool if we got to bring the minivan out there and uh, yeah, just have a good time. So we'll see, that might be happening. We might be bringing a minivan out there doing the half mile event with them and road coursing it and stuff. So we definitely need to do a couple things on this too before that would happen. But uh, yeah, just throwing that out there. But anyways guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. So the minivan is now making 650 horsepower officially. It did make 690. So I mean, we could technically say it made 690. It's a 690 horsepower minivan. But right now the tune is at 650. And that's where she's gonna sit until we upgrade the fuel and blah, 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 blah. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.